Now, former MPP General Secretary, the late Kwajo Usuefriye, was popularly known as Ejun, once made a statement, quote, fear delegate, in reference to how delegate can smile in pretense toward an aspirant, take his gifts, and assure him of their vote, only to vote against him in the end. Fear delegate has since become a famous statement, especially during internal party elections in Ghana. Ahead of the MPP presidential primaries coming up on November 4, Joy News will be talking to delegates across the country to find out what influences their choices of a candidate to vote for. Upper East Regional Correspondent Albert Sorry has been speaking to some delegates in Bogatanga and has come through with this report. The donation of the 140 pairs of sandals I am here at the Upper East Regional Office of the New Patriotic Party. My mission is to speak to delegates of the party to find out what they have in mind as the party prepares to go into the November 4 presidential primaries to select a new flag bearer to lead them into the 2024 elections. Having early on informed the regional secretary of the party of my mission, these five delegates volunteered to meet me here for a conversation. They are constituency and polling station executives of the NPP in the Upper East Region. I am the Bulga Central Constituency Youth Organizer and then I am a delegate. I'm an organizer. Police station woman organizer. So you are a delegate? I am. I'm the constituency organizer, a member of the regional communication team. I'm also a delegate. Doro Electoral Area, woman organizer. Yes, I'm a delegate. I'm a police station secretary for Zan East Electoral Area. Yes, I'm a delegate, a police station secretary. But do they have other careers or occupations outside of politics? Uh, yes, I'm a farmer. I'm a farmer and I do little business. I say that I am a teacher by profession. Yeah, I am a teacher by profession. I do petty trading into Lucky Soap and so many professionals. I'm the proprietor of Great Minds Academy. It's a school and I'm also a farmer. I can tell you that I'm an inter entrepreneur. Yeah. I'm a trader and I'm working under youth employment at Forest Station. Yes. Outside of politics, I'm an accountant. Uh, I'm an accountant. I work with Ghana Education Service. It is a well-known secret that politicians during primaries like the upcoming one often induce delegates with money, valuable items like electronic appliances, food items, and even promises of appointing the delegates to certain positions in government. So I ask these delegates of the Upper East Region, would such inducements, if they are made, influence their choice of candidate to vote for in the primaries? It's not about putting money. I am a farmer. I am a teacher by profession. I'm a businessman. Maybe the policy that the government or the candidate is bringing in place is going to influence my decision. And that is what we are standing for. There is no amount of money that can influence my vote. Because we, what we do, or what we the youth should be looking for is competence. Somebody who think you think he can deliver, not about money. As a candidate, when he comes to me and gives me money, it will solve my problem. I'm ready to go to Expert Bank for my pay. So, he can't bring money to influence me. For this woman, even her clothes and shoes alone are so expensive that it should send a signal to any candidate that her vote cannot be bought. Look, look at my outfit. How much? My, my gladiators, or oh, let's say long boots, how many pounds? Please. See there, I'm wearing long boots. My outfit. They are all in pounds, so let me mention in dollars. How much? They are very expensive. Very expensive. No amount of money can change my mind, can induce me. So, what exactly then would influence their choice of candidates to vote for in the upcoming NPP presidential primaries? It's the persona, it's the vision, it's the competence, 
is, is an individual who understands the economy. For the 2024 general elections, it's going to be a very crucial one. Don't forget that the former president is coming again and will need his own brother who will retire him. Competence, affable. You see, we can't describe this man. Anyway, he's done to X.